a monster you couldn't love. Let's take him. All right, so now we have Harry Potter Part 57. Let's get into it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald. I really do appreciate it. So this is the next chapter in the Harry Potter universe, the Harry Potter prequels. Uh, 2016, first we got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now we have The Crimes of Gridden Wall. Now, I have seen all the Harry Potter films, all of them. I fell asleep at the end of uh, Hallow, uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2 and uh, Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them. Not to say that the films are just horrible, but honestly, I just don't think that... Uh, these films are my cup of tea, you know, my type of flavor. Now, I have absolutely nothing invested in this film. What, what I'm saying is I just don't care. I was not anticipating this movie, but I, I, I wanted to be interested because just me and my particular taste, I like magic and you know, mystery and just things like that. And that's what, you know, the, this fantasy adventure film seems like. But for some reason, I'm just not that interested while I'm actually in the theater. Now, the great things about this film right here is the cast. Of course, now we have David Yates, who directed the film. He directed the last few uh, of these Harry Potter Universe films. Of course, we have Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. We have uh, Zoe Kravitz. We also have Eddie Redman, Academy Award winner right there. And uh, Ezra Miller. He He's the Flash in the DC Universe, you know, so we have a great cast here. And for the most part, they did a great job. That is one of the positive things that I can say about this film. I also like the score, the soundtrack, you know, it was very moving. I like that part. I like the cinematography of the film. The film looked great. I like all the effects. I like all the little beasts and things like that. That's cool. It's creative. Some of it is just some things that I've never seen before in the film. And, you know, uh, these films right here, Fantastic Beasts and, and all the Harry Potters, it's just a testament to show you know, what Hollywood can do as far as entertainment and the cinema and effects and things like that. I mean, that's pretty much they can do anything that they want. So those are all the good things. But actually for the film itself, I mean, you may say, well, Brandon, you talked about all the elements, but there's nothing else that I could say I actually enjoyed about the film. And I guess the only thing left is like the plot and the story. If you're wanting me right now in this to review to kind of tell you what the movie was about. Okay, Green and Wild played by Johnny Depp. He's the bad guy. He wants to take over the world. World. He wants to take over the magic world and uh, the non-magic world. I don't, there's a term for that, but I don't know because I'm not that dived in. I'm not that um, big of a diehard fan. And of course, Eddie Redmayne is a good guy and he has to stop him. And, you know, he's trying to team up with Dumbledore. But, you know, and it's just really good guys versus bad guys. And then there's a reveal about somebody's identity. And then that's just really no nothing else to it. I mean, for me, it was very difficult for me to follow this film. I was trying to pay attention, but I was losing interest. And I was like, I don't feel like trying to pay attention. I just want to look at the screen and understand what's going on. I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm just not. I just don't care. I'm, I'm apathetic about it. Like, this is not Inception, a Christopher Nolan film to where the, the premise is, is, the theme is great and I'm interested and I'm trying to figure out all the puzzle pieces. I just don't feel like doing that. I mean, there's just so many plots and subplots and these going over here and they're going over here and transporting over here. And I think the main reason that, that turned me off with this film is I just don't understand the rules of the universe and the magic and how, how it all works. I mean, I don't know. I guess I just have to sum it up and say that these films are just aren't for me i'm not finna sit here and say that the film was just trash but i'm not finna sit here and say that the film was good either i mean i'm just indifferent there were other people in the theater that saw it with me that enjoyed the film that laughed at a few jokes and i laughed but there i mean i, I may chuckle maybe once or twice but there was nothing to where i was just like oh my gosh that was clever oh my gosh that was funny i like how they did that i like how they did that other than like the generic things that i uh, mentioned at the very beginning of this review at the very beginning of this video however the end the the final climax at the end when they were all kind of using their powers that was kind of cool but it was you know like a five to ten minute sequence out of a two hour and a 14 minute movie you know i wanted a little bit more out of that so guys 
in the end, this movie is just not for me. The series is not for me. I wish it was because I I, I thought I liked stuff like this. Like I really liked the Sorcerer Supreme and that had to do with magic and things like that. But this just did not tickle my fancy. If I have to rate Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald out of a 1 out of 10, I'm going to give this a 5.5 out of 10. Yes, a 5.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all the good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Bernie Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.